what is up YouTube? This is another mod review. Um, my last plans thing, uh, the part three glitched out. So now I'm re-recording it. Um, this is the part three. Yeah, as you can see, there's like absolutely nothing. I, um, do have these, by the way. So I'm gonna quickly grab their ammo. So this is what we're gonna start with, um, since it's what I have on me. And these stupid slimes are annoying the heck out of me. Um, but yeah, let me just, there, there's that one, but then that one. And, um, so we can just put that in there, and that down there. And there's a funny glitch, after you shoot it a certain amount of times, they start floating, like, right here. So, I mean, you can still get into them, which means they're pretty much invincible to mobs. Um, but these are anti-aircraft guns, apparently I'm hitting something there. Um, so, if you guys make a multiplayer server with mods like these in it, um, probably be a great idea to have to protect your base, because there are planes, and if you saw my first video of this, yeah, there are a lot of planes in this, and bombers, um, and the bombers are especially deadly, because they drop a lot of bombs. So then we're going to do this one here, and get into it, and this one's kind of weird. Um, sometimes I can't get it to work. Um, it, it just does a little bit faster, I think, by right in this one over here. But that's pretty much those. We can destroy those items. Then we can go into the chest. Then, um, this is like a stick grenade thing. You just throw it and it goes boop boop and it bounces around. And I really like, so if I throw it at the ground, you can see it's a 3D image. And I really like how he did that with his mod. I think it makes it look more realistic than like a little 2D thing that you throw out and it's 2D. But not this, and I'll grab that. So then, um, C4, um, double click, uh, right click, and you just throw as many as you want. Throw them all on there. And then that's pretty much it. You just double click the right, well, double hit the right button, and, uh, and there's that. Then these, the M18 Claymores are a bit weird. You have to like drop them there and then something has to get in a certain area and then it explodes. Yeah. It, it has a big radius of explosion but it doesn't destroy the blocks which is kind of nice I think. That, there we go. It takes a second to explode sometimes. Oh wow. The lag that I was waiting for. I was like running a straight FPS for a little bit, and no, no. Um, the anti tank mine, pretty much the same as the Claymore. You just it just flops out like that. Um, tanks have to go over it like it's a certain weight thing or something, because I've been walking on it for a while now and a lot, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you saw my custom cape, um, I got another mod I installed and gives me free capes. Um but for some reason it like unlogged me out and then I keep entering the correct password nothing there so it's kind of annoying Just check a grenade in there yeah and then boom and then Mills bomb they're like all the same I think some of them have a bit bigger explosion it, that one um, is more straightforward of explosion the M67 grenade is I don't know if this is the biggest one no I think it's the it's the MK2 frag grenade that is the biggest one. And then back over here, there's the tank right there. Um, and then we just have these. This is a really short review. Um, but, I mean, it was just the end of the mod review. I guess I can like drive um, over some tank mines in, the, in a tank really fast, but I, that's probably it. And then, oh, this one's like, it throws goes pretty far, and I think this is the biggest one. Nope, nope, never mind. The rock is just hilarious. You just throw a three D dimension three dimensional rock and it actually does a pretty good amount of damage sometimes. Uh yeah, it does three damage. So you can kill stuff with it, definitely. Um uh, one time I one shot a villager is what it looked like, but what happened was it was just bouncing between stuff. Cause it bouncy. See, bounces like a grenade like the grenades do. Oh shoot, I don't think it but yeah, and then it they kinda bounce around a little bit. Then for the last grenade is a stick grenade. And yeah, there's that one. So yeah, all pretty straightforward. 
So since we have the tank mines here, um, I can also show you what happens when you um, shoot a plane with the anti-aircraft. Yeah, just a Japanese zero. First plane I grab. Where is it? There it is. And then show it like that. And this is what happens. And when your plane, you can tell when your plane's gonna get destroyed. Parts start falling off. Like sometimes the wheels will fall off, or the wing, or um, the back, like that. That's what happens. And then it completely disappears when the plane has been completely just destroyed. And if you built a plane, but you really want the guns back from it. Um, you can just destroy it, and you get the guns, and you get all the pieces you use. So if you wanted to make a new plane, there you go. And um, for the ending, we'll just drive over these in a Panzer. Ah, the tanks are hard to drive. So yeah, that's all that happens. It's just a huge explosion. Then again, I had a lot, so... Um, it does damage to wherever, whatever hits it. So if I press C. I, I don't know. I think it's, it's stuck, so you can't really do anything with it right now. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, uh, then there's this. And this is what it looks like up in the sky. You'll see a little, like, explosion kind of things. Um, and then sometimes it accidentally hits, like, next to stuff, and it blows that up. Um, let me just make sure, oh yeah, I probably should go over these, um, um, vehicle, so you just open this, and if it, you click on what you want to build, and, um, they have great 3D images, like, spinning around, and, so, these require, uh, two of that type of gun, and you have to build all of it, uh, landing gear, stuff like that, and that's, that's those islands, and then the gun modification table is pretty cool. Go in here, put your gun there, put your attachments there, there, and there, just depending on what gun it is. So I can grab a gun and quickly do that. Um, so we'll do that, and then we'll take. Um, let's take this gun. And you go in here, stick that right in there, put that there, and red dot sight. Then we scroll over it. Oh, I don't have ammo for it. Oh, where is it? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm not very good at finding ammo in this area. So then you little, uh, little bullets come up in there, and then for some reason there's no. reason there's no um, sound when I shoot. Um, okay, that's weird. Um, oh well. But yeah, that's it for this um, Minecraft mod review. Oh wait, wait, I didn't go over one. Uh, part crafting table. I haven't actually looked into this one, so I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, I think because a lot of this is still in progress because all of the Nerf guns don't work. And most of the World War II things don't work. I mean, yeah, even the binoculars. Like, I mean, you can zoom in and shoot them, but you don't get a texture, which I kind of think sucks. Because I would really like to see the Lee Enfield K98K, and definitely uh, some of the LMGs from then. But yeah, so that is all. Um, oh, one second. Oh God, I'm stuck in the tank. Okay. So, um. That is all for, um, one sec, I gotta check something. Somebody just sent me something. That it will be all for this, guys. Um, thumbs up for the custom cape. Um, yeah. Um, it's Assassin's Creed Cayenne. The mod is MC Capes and Hoods. So, go check out that mod. And, um, that'll be all for this time. And I will see you guys when I see you guys.